follow-up question. Is black algae then the same as liner mold or is there a difference? Black algae and liner mold. I don't know that I've heard them used in the same context. And I don't know that I have any way of distinguishing what is one versus the other. And it may just be a regional way of describing what the problem is. I do know that I've certainly over the years seen all kinds of black algae issues. You'll really see this and you'll see some really weird stuff when you do a lot of liner replacements. Because while the surface of the liner looks really good, you cut the liner out and you look at the back of it and you'll have what I would describe as liner mold uh, and the, on the reverse side that doesn't show through. And, and so this is just my take on what liner mold would be is there's a very specific look and a discoloration and a weird collection of stuff on the back of the liner. That's what I would say is liner mold. Black algae, on the other hand, is grown through the surface. So you see it on the surface of the inside, the water side of the surface of the liner. And you also see it on the underside of the liner. And I think, I think that they're probably two very different things, maybe similar in chemical biological makeup, but one is feeding directly on the underside of the liner in the moist environment between the liner and whatever the, whatever the substrate is, and one is actively feeding from what's in the water. So I think they're very two different things, but I, I, I don't have any real clear evidence one way or the other.